leave with no deal and no transition. Policy to leave the EU, is why is that a rightward step? No, but the, the point is that their goal is actually to leave with no deal and no transition, which would so be I'm, extraordinarily I'm not, sure, I'm not sure how much time you spend with grassroots Tories, but I've been mm -hmm. spending a lot of time with grassroots Tories. I mm -hmm. have a nationwide campaign group and we meet up across the country. And 70% of them want a no deal Brexit right now. 70% of them agree with a lot of uh, the ERG's um, situation where they want to have a no-deal Brexit. A lot of Tories, I think, are, are more right-wing than, than you are. Yes, And indeed. I think that they want, that's where and, they want the Tory indeed, party to there be. Is... And that is the true Tory party. Oh. Well, I, I'm, I'm afraid the point is that leaving with no deal and no transition would have catastrophic consequences. But hang on, sir, answer Absolutely the question. What's the true right. Conservative Party? Is it as Lucy describes it, or is it the way you describe it's, it? It's always been a broad church, a tolerant broad church, and what's increasingly happening is that we have a very belligerent white voice, and um, and I think that it is taking us into a direction. I mean, I feel... Would you be comfortable to stay in a party that continues in that direction? I, I feel, well, I've said repeatedly if it becomes main government policy to deliver no deal i shall <coughs> i shall leave i'm a citizen independent because of the the, ex, the the extraordinary damage that that would inflict and how close are you getting to that point well i think we are rapidly appointing uh, uh, reaching that point and i think we've heard that there are many government ministers also considering their position because they would not be prepared to knowingly and deliberately inflict the kind of pain that would be involved i mean just to give you one example we're in a situation now where many of our fellow citizens living in in spain and france do not know in le just over 40 days' time, whether they will have any health cover. And Sarah, it's, it's not moving to the right, it's giving some principles to the Tory party. Oh, I'm sorry, That's I, what's happening. I'm, I'm sorry, I do, do not agree with you. Since when could any responsible Tory party it, it's deliver saying that we want to deliver democracy. Pain. It's, no, say, it's, it's having the it's principles not. of democracy and it's delivering on democracy. We can that deliver is what democracy. it is trying to do. You can't, Sarah, but you can't. A second referendum just undermines democracy. It does not. Completely. Since when does a democratic process undermine democracy? I think democracy? we've had this argument again and but again. But it's not again. the government's and policy, is it? The government's it. policy is to leave come what may, with or without a deal. Well, I think that if they leave without a deal, they will never be forgiven for the consequences, and rightly so. And you'll go? Yes. And how many of your other colleagues, do you um, think? Well, they will have to speak for themselves. But, I mean, is this a big group of people? I or? think it wouldn't be fair for me to speak for my colleagues. They'll be ready to speak for themselves. All right. Well, look, this is not unique to the Conservative Party because Labour is also deeply divided on Brexit and other things. And there.